Welcome folks, it's Richter Belmont and Phantom from BG Gaming and we are going to be playing Resident Evil for the GameCube. Now what's different about this one is that we will be doing it on an actual system instead of trying to run an emulator because that's always horrible. Now this game on an emulator a lot of the times you'll notice that a lot of rooms are slowed down and just don't work correctly but here they will. Alright so here we go. New game Which describes you the best? Uh, hiking. I don't feel like doing it the hard way. And... What do you think? Chris or Jill? Jill, duh. Alright, Jill. It's easier. Why is that? Yeah, she gets two extra inventory slots. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have recently things. occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. All 
right, everybody. Now, we're into the game proper. Woo! Now, you'll notice, if you've never played this one or only played the original, this game is really pretty. And we'll take that ink ribbon. And we have to go this way. Now, this is almost a blind Let's Play for me. I haven't actually played this version in maybe 10 years, and my esteemed partner over here hasn't ever played it. I think you'd better nope. take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I think we played this one part, but we never got past the fireplace. <laughs> it's not that scary. Did he just say, I hope this isn't Chris's? Yeah. I thought Chris was with us. No, that's Barry. Chris has disappeared. Now, in the original one for PlayStation, he would say, I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. Now, as I said before, this is semi-blind, so I remember some of what to do, but I'm not completely positive. Yeah, this guy. Oh, now he's getting up. And we're gonna run. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Now there's a line. Um, in the original, Barry gives you a really powerful weapon. And I, I think it's the Magnum, but it's been so long. And he says, use this. It's incredibly powerful, especially against living things. <laughs> he really said that. As opposed to the not useful against living things weapons. Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Now, I will say this, that I still think this is one of the prettiest games that was ever released. I mean, the techniques they use behind it, using just uh, high-quality backgrounds, it's really simple when you think about it, but it still just comes together to make a beautiful game. Oop, we need to go this way. So you have to go explore all of this, and then you have to go up here. And... Basically, you just have to do a quick lap, and then she'll say that she hasn't found him. Come on, Jill. I'll tell you what, getting used to the GameCube's tiny D-pad is uh, a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No. Nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker! There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Ooh, a lockpick. Yes, Thanks. this comes in I handy. I need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Now, I am obligated to point out that originally he said, I think that you, the master of unlocking things, should take this. <laughs> uh, good old Barry. There have been tons of remixes based on his stupid dialogue. Just look up Barry Burton Remix on uh, YouTube, and I'm sure you can find it easy. Okay, remember, we have to go take... push this one. 
we'll we'll move that and then we'll take it uh, over here so that we can get this map. Am I allowed to discuss spoilers? I reckon so. This game, I think this game passes the uh, spoilers threshold, you know. It's pretty old. Um, don't you have to push that thing back against the wall before the zombie comes? Yes, you do. Of course, it's kind of funny because you can't dodge the zombie that comes around. So if you go in there, you use the item, you get in there anyway. So and I think I'll, I'll avoid that. The knife? Yeah, we don't need it. It's just a defense item anyway. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is, I believe, we're heading back this way. And we will go back through the dining room to get to our next destination, which will be on the second floor, I believe. Alright, come on, Jill. Every time you say, come on, Jill, I think you say, come on, Jill. <laughs> Nobody's talking to you, fool. Alright. Now we're going up to one of the new areas of the mansion. I think when this came out, the developers said that 60% uh, was preserved. But I don't know about that. It's the corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's a film that belonged to Kenneth. I need, to, I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. What do you mean 60% of this is preserved? Um, oh shit. You hear that? The, uh, the mansion has the same layout. About 60% of the mansion is the same layout from the, uh, original. Jill runs faster without her handgun, but I'm kind of scared not to. <laughs> I'm a big old chicken. Don't judge me. I remember this part in Resident Evil 5 was scary as heck. Oh yeah, man. I, I was having such a nostalgia attack that it didn't occur to me that this was really freaking creepy in Resident Evil 5. Oh, did you know that if you go to and, uh, try to use the front door five times, it switches to the old camera angle? Really? Yeah, it really does, yeah. Oh yeah, I think I actually remember that before I was like, what the heck? That's yeah, awesome. And then back here in Resident Evil 5, you use the piano to, to open a secret passage. Yeah, you have to, it's like a... Uh, Okay, there are zombies in here, and I don't want to take that herb yet. The guy will get up and chase you, right? No, he gets up later. Aha, dodged! Asshole. And our first... Oh yes, we did need this. Yes, and we need to try to dodge this guy. As opposed to all these giant spears we can take. There we go. You don't come to think of it, you're right. There's like 12 spears, but we take the golden arrow. Well, it comes to the same problem, too, is why do you need to hunt, like, everywhere for, you know, a key when you can just, like, shoot the lock. See, you run so much faster this way. And we're gonna try to lure these guys out. Oh, what's this? Defense item? Yes, we will take the dagger. Yes, we know how to use defense items. Come on. Come on. Awesome. Now, I'm pretty sure he's the only zombie in this area. But we can go ahead and do this, too. Push that? Yeah, we're gonna push it. Off the balcony? Mm-hmm. No, it'll it'll shatter the statue. I have to say this is my least favorite part of the game because the camera angles make it to where you can't see the zombie. At least until it's like boom, hello. Alright, that's accomplished. Let's see where he is. Oh god. Am I gonna risk it? Fake dodge, fake dodge, come on, fake. You can fake them out, so that's kind of awesome. Now I'm going to try to do it again, but I don't have the luxury of save states, so if I get killed, well, I'm going to be really upset for one thing. Well, yeah.
Alright, what we first need to do is we need to examine this. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. The arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Now, if you were designing a mansion, what do you think you would use an arrowhead for? A key? <laughs> that's, that's quite illogical. Well, that's interesting. See, I've seen this played on uh, the mountain climbing difficulty, and there's like three or four zombies in here when we play on that way. So we're going to go down here. You still used it like a key. Well, yeah. I mean, at least there's a legitimate backstory to why this designer designed all this weird crap this way. Book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Book of Curse, yes it will. Let's see, let's examine this. Oh, very good, it's titled Book of Curse. Yeah, that is what we're looking for. There isn't a key embedded. Will you remove it? Yes. Book of Curse. It's, yeah, this is the poem that leads into getting this. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. And let's examine this so we know what it is. Engraving of a sword. So we have the sword key. Does it go to the sword room? Indeed. I was right? Yeah, you're right. We're going to the sword room. Does it have swords in it? Yeah, she's taking a slight jog up this little hill. Oh, oh fun fact. Uh, this is not important at all, but that actually says, uh, one of these tombstones says Capcom on it in Greece. Greek. In Greek? Yeah. I think I should just give, I should just give up talking. Fun fact of the day, I'm actually Greek. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> I, I, uh, Welsh. Yeah. My friend Jessica's Welsh. Neat. Okay, uh, I don't think we can open this back one yet, but we sure will try. It's locked. Nope. Helmet key. And we're opening... We don't need that defensive item because we're not going in there. You use the sword key. Yep, just like I thought. Now there is some ammo in here. There's no sword. No. Okay, I think you push this... this one. I guess not. Maybe the other way then? Keep in mind, folks, I'm trying to do this from, like, from memory from ten years ago. So far, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I think so, too. Better than I would. Oh, that's no challenge at all. <laughs> yeah, that was dicky. I mean, it's truthful. Alright, um, can we unlock the store yet? Okay, that's the lock pick. Yes, we can go in here. And is there anything in the sink? No, there's not. This part's fun. Check the tub. Whoa! Now, if you're playing as Chris, you have to do that part manually. You have to kill the zombie, and if you don't, just flee. He'll come back after you later. Because he's an ass. Oh, cool. Got another dagger. Alright, and... After we get to the 
the next save point. That'll be a good stopping time, so these videos don't run to be really long. There's, luckily for us, there is a save room this way. Hmm. Do I want the shotgun yet? I don't know. We haven't saved, and I don't know what triggers Barry to save you, so we'll come back for that. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Alright. It's here. Now, there is a zombie in here, but luckily we can use the, uh, the stairs exploit. Uh-huh. Zombies can't go upstairs, but they, they can't grab you when they do. Really? Yeah. That's weird. See, they can puke on you, but they can't grab you. Alright. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, piece of candy. Special instructions when disposing of dead bodies. Oh my god, I hate these things. <sighs> god, I hate these things. That bad, huh? Yes, they, they suck. Called Crimson Heads. I'll tell you this, we haven't killed a single zombie yet, except for the, uh... Well... We did, but we stomped on his head, and that doesn't count. Okay, now we're gonna fill up this canteen. And we're gonna save! That's where a friend of mine borrowed my memory card. Alright, and, uh, we will be back later. See you guys in the next video. See you next time.